boys and girls, welcome to another episode of Commander Revs. Today we are installing the Ilium Works bar risers on the K1600B. The reason these are uh, necessary is uh, for a taller person especially, I'm 6'1", you tend to ride further back on the seat for the leg comfort, especially with the footboards that the K1600 has. And then that ends up making a little bit of a reach for the for the bars. I'll show you. Okay, you're sitting on the bike. You're all stretched out. My butt is all the way up against here. And you like to really chill out. And then, you know, this is the great cruising position right here. And if you're comfortably reaching, you're, you know, you have to lean a little forward to get on here. And it's not uncomfortable, but... These bars are going to give you two inches both back and up, not two inches each, but a total rise of two inches, but it's going to be at this angle coming back. So do the math, whatever the Pythagorean's theorem or whatever that is to figure that out, how many, but I'm guessing an inch and a half, inch and three quarters closer to you and a little, maybe, you know, the same up. So here we go. Let's open the box. Everybody's favorite box opening time. Ilium Works does a uh, really good install video. I'll put the link on the on the video for you uh, to look at. That's the official install. This is just a quick little, uh, for your entertainment purposes, little install. But these are really good looking bars, bar risers. They call them barbacks. They're bar risers, but uh, another company out there, Hella, I believe, uh, they're decent. Uh, these were just a little bit more expensive. I think those were 90 bucks and... Uh, these were uh, 105 so a comparable price. I think these just are milled really nice. These are made to look a little better on the K-Series uh, BMWs, so that's why I got them. So let's get going. We'll uh, quick install. Here we go. All right, so there we are with the new riding position. I think this is going to work out really nice. Uh, yeah, that's going to be comfortable. Let's take her for a quick spin. See how I like it.
Okay. Much better. Yeah, I'm... Oh, man, that's nice. I'm all the way back against the front seat here and feet up on the footboards and it's a nice comfortable reach. Get out on the highway speeds here and see how that looks, but uh, yeah, I think I'm going to like this. It's going to be a factor for uh, fatigue on a long haul, I think. It would be definitely uh, help your shoulders and just the fatigue factor of riding. <laughs> I think I got everything dialed in on this thing. Man, this is comfortable. I might possibly consider something different for the seat, but I would like to try at least, uh, you know, like a couple hundred miles on uh, in one ride to see what the, the butt fatigue factor is. But the hand uh, handlebar risers now, the uh, barbacks as Ilium calls them. So yeah, very comfy. I think I'll be happy with them. Just turned over a thousand miles. One thousand one. Time to take her in for the first service. Like I mentioned before, I like to at least the first service. All it is is an oil change, but oil and filter, and then they kind of do a once over on the bike, so. Just to make sure something hasn't loosened up. Yeah, I don't mind taking it in that first uh, first oil change, but then after that, I generally tend to do my own maintenance, unless it's something over my head, which I'm sure a valve adjustment on this thing would be way over my head. It's six cylinders with uh, 20, uh, with four, six times four, 24 valves on this thing. Yeah, that's that'll be an expensive one, but I don't think that's till maybe 18,000 or something. I'll look, put that up on the screen for you. Thanks for watching. I uh, look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Commander Revs.